Well, a very special day for our morning weather guy, Al Peterson, and a red-tailed hawk he rescued near Albany. The big bird was seriously injured and in the road on an on-ramp from I-5 north to Albany. But tonight, as Al Peterson shows us, that big bird is free once again. When I first saw him, he was standing in the roadway as I drove south on I-5. Figured I had to do something, so I pulled over, got out of the car, protected my hands with a gym bag, picked him up, carried him over to the side of the road, and that's all fine. But now what are you going to do? Well, fortunately, I had a cell phone called the Cascade Raptor Center in Eugene. They said, can you drive him to us? I said, sure. And I don't know what I would have done otherwise. He was in bad shape. Well, it was pretty obvious that he had been hit by a car. He didn't have any um, broken bones uh, when we x-rayed him. But there was sort of an odd... Um, sort of a change to the silhouette of his heart on the x-ray. He's all better now. After six weeks of rest and good food, he is good to go. Did you guys name him or do you name any of these We, we don't name the rehab birds. <laughs> okay. Hello, buddy. Okay, no, so he's not going to wake us. You just put your hands out. Okay, there you go, buddy. You're free. And he totally went nothing. the wrong way. <laughs> Wow. Now that's probably the last we're going to see of him. We were hoping that he would land on a limb and give us one final picture, but he had another idea. That's our deer falcon, uh -huh. and that's an alarm call. So he may have swung around and be down there somewhere. Uh -huh. There's some others going off. Those are the peregrines. So I would bet that he sort of swung around that way. You're free. But it's good to know that he's back in the air and already raising a ruckus. South of Eugene, Al Peterson, KVAL News. Good for him. Cascade Raptor Center usually takes about 200 of those big birds each year, but this year they say they've been really busy. They've taken in almost 250. You can learn more about the Raptor Center at KVAL.com.